this is something that I love to call the appreciation game. It's a practice by a great teacher called Abraham. It's called the appreciation game, where you just appreciate and appreciate more and appreciate more and appreciate more. So if you're in that job, we had some people that don't like their jobs, yeah? Yes, I got one in the front that's like me. If you're in that job where you're feeling like, this isn't working for me, I'm not into it, I'm mad about it, I get, I get, I get upset every time I walk into the office, the thing that you're missing here is that, and she's looking at me, she's like, what's she gonna say? I need to, I need to know, I should, give it to me, Gabby, give it to me. The thing that you're missing is that when you appreciate what you do have, you create more of what you want. Appreciating even the job that isn't the one that you want forever actually helps you attract the next career path. And you think it's counterintuitive because you're thinking, well, I don't want to appreciate this thing I don't want. That's sending out a message to the universe that I want something I don't want. Actually, no. The more you appreciate what's in front of you, the more you become a magnet for what it is that you desire. So if you appreciate that job that's not that great, and you bring an energy that's a little bit more of a high vibe frequency, and you show up to work and you've got a better attitude, and people start to like you a little bit more because you're in that appreciation of whatever is around you, and they start to see you a little bit differently, and then maybe they give you a raise, or maybe they see some potential in you, or maybe one day you're just in a really good mood because you've been appreciating everybody and you're not, you're not mad anymore, you're not complaining on your Instagram about how you hate your job, and you're walking through the office and you're in a really good mood and you get in the elevator and you bump into somebody and they say, oh, what do you do? And you say, I'm a copy editor at this company and blah, 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 and they say, oh, how interesting, we've been looking for a copy editor. Because it's your energy and your appreciation that creates that opportunity. So the more that you're in an energy of lack or fear or negativity, the more likely you are to deflect the creative possibilities in your life. The more you are to deflect the new opportunities and the less fun you have, real, you know what I mean? Like the key to attracting what you want people is to have fun, straight up, have fun. The, yes, thank you, let's hear for the fun, yes. It's like, it's good to feel good. And we forget that. We think, oh, I gotta complain about everything to get to where I wanna be. Hell no. And ladies, you guys are young in this room. Many of you are very young. I want you to hear something that I wish I had known way back when. The more fun you have, the more successful you will be. And the more fun you have, the, you don't have to work that hard. Okay, well, you gotta work. You know, like, you know, we don't wanna pretend like we don't have to do anything. But it doesn't feel like work when you're having fun. It doesn't feel like work when you're having fun. So the more fun you have, the more success you will attract into your life, the more you will become a magnet for what you desire.